The office was created in 1998 and the reason for the Ombudsman's Office being created was to ensure fairness for all members of the military community, both military and civilian, for any policy, process or procedure the department may have in place. It's uh, the Ombudsman's role to ensure that those processes are fair for all. We act as a source of education, information and referral. Uh, you know, we were fairly busy shop. We handle about 10 to 12,000 inbound calls a year. We also act as a neutral mediator and a, you know, investigator on behalf of the minister or under my own purview of authority. And finally, we're here to ensure that anything that changes in the environment has long substantial value to, for the organization. We cover the entire country, plus those who have been posted outside the country are also a part of our consistency base. And it's not only those who are currently in the community. It's all those who have previously been in the community are also part of our consistency base. There's a lot of good things that go on. There are more good things that go on than there are bad things that go on, but as we all know, uh, if, it, if it bleeds, it leads. If it's sensational, it, no, it will grab a headline. It will get people's at attention. But, you know, there's so much good work that goes on in this organization every day that by so many unsung heroes, we don't hear about them, we don't know their names, but they do it every day. You know, Edmonton is in a high state of readiness. Uh, the amount of work and training and everything that's going on on this basis is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, uh, most of the public don't understand what that is. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this organization, you look at the number of trades. Uh, we were having a conversation this morning, you know, there's over 100 trades available. There's opportunity. Uh, it's, it's an amazing organization. Do we have some issues? Yeah, I think any organization with 100,000 plus people and an $18 billion budget, that's been around for a hundred years, you know, there's going to be problems and they, they, they just evolve over time. The organization has set some uh, targets they want to hit on uh, minorities and women and so on and so forth and I think that's a good thing to be reflective of, the, of society. I mean, if your military is a, a, you know, a reflection of what is going on in society, I think you're better because of that it, and there's no doubt about it. And I, you know, this is no news to General Vance. Uh, he's got this. He knows what this means. Uh, and you know, in, in talking to the minister, I hear the same things. Mm -hmm. Diversity is extremely important. 